Hello world, I'm back again with a really, really quick video, but one that I've been meaning to put out for a little while now, and I just wanted to, to get it off my plate because it's too good not to share. Another tip that's come from the comments, um, apologies, I didn't take the time to scroll back and find where the comment was, but thank you to the person who gave it because it is brilliant as so many of the tips in the comments are. So, have you ever done this? You've been working on a photo. This photo's not important. I just went back and grabbed the first photo I could find that didn't have people in it. But um, I digress. So, here I am. I'm working on my photo. I'm in the customized space. And let's say, for example, have you ever done this? Where you've grabbed your uh, white balance picker. And you've come over here. Gotten a white balance reading. Don't love that one, but it'll do. And then you go, oh, and I just want to change my exposure, and you come back, um, and you, you know, who knows? I'm not sure you do that. Maybe add a little more black in. Whatever it is you do. Um, but then suddenly you realize, you come, come over here, and you click on something, and you realize, oh, no, I still had my color picker um, chosen, and uh, what a pain, and now I've got to go back here, and I've got to turn it off. Well, actually, I've got to fix what I did first, and then I have to turn it off, etc. But... Watch this. Here comes the tip. Here comes the tip. And this works in a lot of different places. I'm about to press my escape key. Wait, I'll put it over here so you can see. There's the there's the little picker. I'll put it maybe on the blue so you can see it. There's the picker. Press my escape key. Boom. It's gone. It's deselected. Great. Have you ever done this one where you've been in and you um, maybe put on some noise reduction and you grab this little jobber here and you popped it somewhere? And then when you were finished, you went about your business and say, oh, I want to just raise that exposure or whatever. You know what I mean? And here you are. But look, look, this is still you can see from the little outline and that's there. It's still selected. What do you do? You press escape. Boom. And it is gone. But wait, there's more. You're over here and you grab yourself a control point and you smack it onto the blue and you make it real big. And um, that'll do anyway. It's going to be a bit shoddy, but I don't mind. Um, and you, you know, up your saturation, maybe drop your luminance, whatever. You do your thing. And then you think, oh, but I want to do something over here. So you come over here. I won't raise my exposure this time. I've already done, already done that trick. Say I want to add a little contrast. So I'll pop a little contrast on. Um, and then, oh, oh, wait now. Hold on. I come back over my screen. And what's all this? Oh, no. I left on my control point. Blah. What do you do? Press escape. Pretty much anywhere you can do it with the with the wee little uh, retouch tool. Just about anywhere where you have a different tool selected, you can press that escape key, make it go away straight away. Absolutely a life changer for me because I am forgetful and I do that all the time where I just leave something on and then go about my business. So thank you to the commenter who put that. It is absolutely fantastic. Hope you guys enjoy it too. Going to keep this one super short. Probably never spoken this quickly in my life. Um, but with that, I'll say bye. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk again soon. Cheers.